Infinix have been shocking the world with their insane value for money smartphone for a few years now and their zero series lineup has always been their most premium set of devices which leads us to this the Infinix 030 which packs in more specs and features than you could ever possibly imagine for a seriously good price. A more than capable chipset, a liquid cooling system, a very bright curved AMOLED display, dual speakers, a large battery, fast charging, a premium selfie camera which offers 4K 60fps video recording as well as a physical flash. A triple rear camera system which consists of a 108 megapixel camera and a ring LED or a light flash and even packs in an IP certification. There's a jelly case in the box as well as a charging cable and a 68 watt charging block. I don't think that in this price range you can get a better option from the Infinix 030. The Infinix 030 has recently released in the global market with a starting price of around $290 for the base 8 gigs of RAM and 128 gigs storage variant with the top end 12 gigs of RAM and 256 gigs of storage model costing around $300. The device eeks to Infinix's typical design but it now looks more premium thanks to a few detailed touches such as a glossy gold trim wrapping around the camera lenses as well as the entire camera module. This camera island sits on a curved glass back plate which comes in three different colors. You can either pick it up in the color which I have known as golden hour, fantasy purple which has the same gloss finish or wrong green which has a vegan leather design. It comes in at just 7.9 mm thick and weighs just 185 grams which is impressive considering it has a glass back. It also manages to pack in an IP53 certification for dust and splash protection. The glass version's back plates are protected by Gorilla Glass 5 while all three colors have the same screen protection that being Gorilla Glass 5. It has a flagship black display that being a curved 6.78 inch AMOLED display which sits at a full HD plus resolution and packs in 388 pixels per inch. It's capable of displaying over 8 billion colors and has a wide DCI-P3 color space not to mention it supports A10. Supports HDR10, HDR10 plus and wide wavelength R1 content. It offers a whopping 144 Hz screen refresh rate which can be dropped to 120Hz or even 60Hz. It's silky smooth when set to its max refresh rate. It's also capable of reaching a max clean brightness of 915 years, which is quite a bit higher than other phones in this price bracket. When it comes to software, the 030 makes use Exos 13.1 Android 13 of Exos 13.1 skin over Android 13. It has its fair share of bloatware pre-installed, but most of which can thankfully be removed. There is unfortunately no Google Discover on the left of the home screen, which has now been replaced by something called Zero Screen. But the device does come packed in with full Google services supports, which allows for full access to the Play Store. One of the best things about the 030 is Infinix's new voice assistant which you can use in addition to Google Assistant and it is known as Folex. Folex is fully powered by ChatGPT which should be more in depth than any other voice assistants currently on the market. It works incredibly well and can even write full essay for you on the go. To keep your phone running is a large 5000 mAh battery which can be topped up in just 51 minutes. Thanks to its fast 68 watt wide charging speeds not to mention there is also a new vacuum chamber liquid cooling system. To keep your phone cool while charging or running demanding tasks. The Infinix 030 is powered by a TSMC Mate 6 nanometer MediaTek Dimensity 8020 chipset with a max core clock speed of 2.6 GHz and makes use of an integrated Mali G77 MC9 Z9 GPU, which can no doubt run all of your favorite games. It has a single punch hole at the top sensor of its display, which packs in a 1 in 2.76 inch 
size 50 megapixel ISO cell Gen 1 sensor with an aperture of f2.45 and has phase detection autofocus it also makes use of a dual micro slits LED flash which sits in the top left bezel. It may skip out on a few flagship specs such as its chipset but it feels solid looks incredible performs on a flagship level and costs just a fraction of the price. Let me know your thoughts on another one of Infinix's insane value for money smartphones in the comment section down below and don't forget to subscribe the channel. I'll catch you in the next one.